Google just launched AI mode, and it might completely change the way you search forever. But be prepared for AI mode to show you weird and sometimes unusual and odd responses, just like the early days of Google AI overviews and featured snippets. In this video, I'll break down exactly what Google AI mode is, how it works, how it could affect your business, and why some people are already calling it the biggest threat to websites and publishers in years. Plus, I'll show you how to access AI mode and much more. If you're a content creator or you just use Google search every day, this is something you need to know. So stay tuned. So what is Google's AI mode? Obviously it's an expansion of AI overviews, but it's its own mode. There's a new tab available to some users. You have to be in Search Labs uh, to access it, and you have to be accepted into the Search Labs project to access it. And it basically gives you a new tab called AI mode. When you click on that, Google gives, into, gives you this like new AI version of Google search. Google says that this new search mode expands on what AI overviews do with more advanced reasoning, thinking, and multimodal capabilities so that you can get help with even your toughest questions, Google said. Google said this is using a custom version of Gemini 2.0. With AI mode, Google actually not just gives you what they call high quality co web content, but also they tap into what they call fresh, real-time sources, including their knowledge graph, real-time real-world information, shopping data from the Google shopping graph, and so forth. And AI mode lets you go ahead and do follow-up questions as well. So here's some videos of how AI mode works. As you can see on mobile, you just basically tap on the AI mode and it basically gives you this new interface that lets you give you these answers with web links and citations and all these other types of things, um, including this like type of way to actually go ahead and follow up on those questions. Here's the desktop mode version as well, so you can quickly see how AI mode works if you don't have access to it yet. So how does Google AI mode work? Google said that AI mode uses real-time world information, including content from the web and Google, like facts from its knowledge graph, um, information about the real world, and shopping data from its Google product graph. It also uses a new uh, feature called query fan out technique. It's issuing multiple related searches concurrently across subtopics and multiple data sources, and then brings those results together to provide an easy to understand response. Google says this approach helps you access more breadth and depth of information than a traditional Google search result can provide. Of course, people could actually go ahead and provide or ask follow-up conversational-like questions using the follow-up feature. And Google said this will carry over the context of your previous question to refine the user's intent and formulate a more precise and informed search answer for you. And it's also multimodal, which means you could search using text, images, and your voice and you could go ahead and follow up questions in multiple, multiple ways as well. When it comes to linking to you and your publisher's website, Google said they'll do that, just like they do in AI overviews and other areas. Google said they will go ahead and prominently display web links to publishers that you may not have seen before because Google's AI mode shows you a more diverse set of results. In addition, those types of links will likely differ from what you get in AI overviews or Google search because it uses a different model of Gemini 2.0. Google also said it's training the model itself to intelligently determine when to show links and how to best present those links to users. Specifically, Google said that in the example, it might go ahead and go ahead and show you links when it knows that you might wanna go ahead and take an action based on that answer. So maybe book a flight, buy a product or something like that. But if it's just giving you an answer, it might not go ahead and just give you a link. And I asked Google, what about showing this information in Google Search Console? And as you can expect, there's gonna be no way as far as I see, to actually go ahead and filter this information in Google Search Console. You're not able to uh, filter feature snippets. You're not able to filter AI overviews in Google Search Console's performance reports. And I doubt you'll be able to go ahead and filter AI mode in Google Search Console performance reports. Google told me, we currently don't have anything to share about reporting tools for this experiment, but they told me they'll let me know if anything changes. I'm still waiting, literally over a decade for feature snippets. In my opinion, publishers are not gonna like this feature. If people go to AI mode and Google intelligently decides, hey, I'll go ahead and give you this, the synopsis of this article because there's no other action outside of just reading the article, Google's probably not gonna go ahead and show you real good links that drive real traffic to your website, at least converting traffic. Google says they will when, it, when there is actually an action they think the user wants to take, like buy a product or something, which maybe they'll show ads for, I guess. But when it comes to driving traffic to publishers where they get this content from, I'm not expecting publishers to be happy with this at all. Let me know what you think as a publisher or a content creator in the comments below about this. 
And then Google made sure to say this is an experiment. There's going to be some quality and safety issues that they have to address. And they've done tons and tons of testing already. And they continue to do testing. And they will adapt when they find issues with this, just like they've done with feature snippets a decade plus ago. And just like they did with AI overviews a year or so ago. And Google went through several unique considerations around safety and quality issues around AI mode, including triggering, inaccuracies and auto responses, opinionated responses, false equivalence responses, carrying context across follow-up questions, query variety, satire and humor responses, math, and even more. So there's a lot of things that Google is considering around these AI, AI mode in terms of how to go ahead and handle this from a safety and quality perspective. And finally, how do you access Google AI mode? Well, that's gonna be available first to Google One AI premium subscribers. So you gotta to subscribe to get early access to it. I'm not even getting access to it early. Um, and I spend a fortune of money on my Workspace account. That being said, once you go ahead and opt into the Search Labs experiment, and then you get approved by Google, um, you can go then go to google.com, do a search of any query, and then click on the AI mode at the top left on the search bar. You can also go, try to go to directly to google.com slash AI mode to access it directly, or in the mobile version, you could go ahead and tap on I, the AI mode icon below the search bar uh, on the home screen itself. So I hope you guys were found this video useful. And again, I hope AI mode doesn't kill search even more for publishers and content producers. But again, this is probably the future of search, or as we know it, Google's more, Google's moving more and more towards this area. We see it with perplexity. We saw it recently being tested by Microsoft's Copilot search. And we also see it with obviously uh, OpenAI's uh, ChatGPT search. So we'll see what happens with search in the future, but this is a big shift and a big test in terms of what the future of search might look like.